we understand that there are different types of disasters let us now move on to understand the reasons behind lightning strikes and what its after effects are we will also study about volcanoes earthquakes and tsunamis when it rains during the night you may have seen lightning however not all lightning strikes the ground 95% of the lightnings happen just in the sky only about 5% of lightnings strike the earth's surface lightning can be formed in one cloud only in between two clouds or between a cloud and the ground you will be surprised to know that the temperature at the time of a lightning strike is more than the temperature of the sun the excessively high temperature creates a situation where the air under very high pressure suddenly expands and that leads to a loud thunderclap globally there aren't many fatalities caused due to lightning strikes however the survivors have shown long term effects of the lightning strikes during a lightning strike it is risky to be out on the open ground or under a tree or near a tall structure or near any water body the chances of getting struck by lightning are higher in an open ground or near a tree or near a water body it is safest to be indoors if you are outside do not stand near any electricity pole telephone pole or towers stay away from metal and wire fencing as metal attracts electricity if you are riding a two wheeler a bicycle or a tractor you should park the vehicle get off and move to a safe location do not stand in groups and keep a distance of at least 15 feet between two persons also avoid using electrical appliances mobile phone and television screens keep a piece of dry wood plastic or dry leaves under your feet while sitting down on the floor keep both knees together while placing your hands on the knees swimmers and fishermen should come out of the water body immediately a lightning conductor should be installed on a tall structure in the area around your house or on the roof of your house volcanic eruption is another type of natural phenomenon due to the immense heat inside the earth's interior solid liquid and gaseous substances are pushed towards the earth's crust when these substances break the earth's crust and start to flow out on the surface of the crust it is called a volcano at the time of eruption when the liquid part from the earth's interior comes out and starts to flow it is called as molten rock or lava during a volcanic eruption molten rock or lava water vapor hot mud sulfur and other substances are thrown out of the earth's interior and they accumulate on the surface of the earth these substances cool down to form hills and hillocks the volcanic ash and gases thrown out during the eruption pollute the air in the area the immense heat of the volcanic eruption causes rain jungles and small villages get buried under the hot slush and mud volcanic eruptions occurs in the ocean as well molten rock and other substances thrown out during the volcanic eruptions under the ocean results in the formation of islands volcanic eruption is a natural phenomenon and humans do not have any control over it but by studying seismic activities and their patterns it is possible to predict the volcanic activity and hence they can be managed volcanic eruptions and earthquakes occur on the ocean bed too when an earthquake occurs at the ocean bed the energy released pushes the mass of water upwards resulting in the formation of a massive wave these waves are not very high at the point where they originate however they start to move rapidly 
At this point, the waves move at speeds ranging between 800 to 900 km. On reaching the shorelines, these waves slow down, but their height increases tremendously. That is, they are more than 100 feet. Such waves, which are formed as a result of earthquakes occurring on the ocean floor or due to eruptions of undersea volcanoes, are called tsunami. The word tsunami is a Japanese word meaning a massive wave which hits the shore. On 25th December 2004, the eastern shoreline of India was hit by a series of tsunami. These waves were generated by seismic activity whose epicenter was located in the western coast of East Sumatra, Indonesia. An earthquake measuring 9.1 to 9.3 was recorded on the Richter scale which generated a series of enormous waves measuring 30 meters in height. This was the third strongest earthquake recorded so far. Tsunami causes a colossal economic loss and loss of human lives. Buildings and infrastructure get destroyed. Ships and boats along the coast get destroyed. Trees get uprooted and landslides occur on a large scale. Tsunami changes the original coastal land and it becomes marshy. Tsunami obstructs traffic and life is disrupted. Tsunami is a phenomenon caused by geological changes and hence it is not avoidable. However, once a tsunami occurs, it is important to estimate its extent and alert the people living along the coastline. Artificial ground satellites are used for this purpose. Storms too are natural phenomenon. Last year, we have already seen how storms are formed and their effects. If you ever get struck in a storm, take care of the following. Regularly prune trees which are close to buildings to avoid damage during the storm. Let your family and friends know about your location during the storm. If you are out on your own, select a place which is safe and take refuge. Switch off the gas regulator and the mains of electricity supply. Alert your family and friends about the potential threat and instruct them to move to a safer place. Give shelter to those people who are far away from their home. There are many national and international organizations which help people to deal with such disasters. In 1965, the United Nations established an organization called UNDP. The main work of this organization is to provide help in the form of equipment and materials, financial support and volunteers at the time of disaster. It also provides medical teams and other experts groups. In this lesson, we have seen the different types of disasters. We have also seen what should be our role during such situations. By learning about disasters, you can help people during the time of crisis.